Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to Ghost Recon's Wildlands. Okay, so we are here at San Mateo and we're about to pick up the third file out of the five that are available. Yes, out of the five that are available in this um, in this area. So here we are at, um, where are we? At the makeshift runway. And we're going to be picking up a skill point and the intel file. This metal has a coca plant on it. That's kind of cool. We'll pick up the Kingslayer file while we're here. I oh, know it's just another skill point. I thought it was a Kingslayer file. Oh, it is. Uh, excellent. We'll have a look at all of these when we finish the series. So let's have a look at this major intel file. According to this, a journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo. She's caused enough trouble that the cartel's gonna make her disappear next. We've got her 20. Let's get to her before the Sicarios do. Copy. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We already have a copter here waiting for us, so we'll take that. Go, gentlemen, in the copter. Okay, so let's go right here. That's where we're headed. This would be the journalist. Reach the journalist, last known position. A Bolivian journalist named Lupe Vera has been investigating the disappearances in San Mateo for several months. Track her down and find out what she knows. Copy. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing the third mission for this area, which is the journalist. Reach the journalist's last known position. This place is unbelievable. Have you ever heard of a cartel running its own prison camps before? They're trying to keep the rebels in the region from getting new recruits, and to keep people from telling the outside world what's really going on here. They get away with it because Unidad lets them. The corollary here is that if the cartel is going to this much trouble to keep the people from joining the rebels, then the rebels must really be causing the problems. Which yeah. is why we need to earn their trust. They say there must be the rebels must be quite effective if that's what's going on. Right, let's go let's go put this chopper down here. up on the journalist's last known location. Let's track her down and find out what she knows about the missing people. We gotta figure the cartels around, looking for her too. Copy. Let's go see what's going on now. Making sure that we're clear in the end, right? Is that her there? Rebels. Now, oh, what's going on? Hola, camarada. What do you want, gringo? We're looking for a journalist named Lupe Vera. So are we, but it's too late. The cartel has her. They've taken her back to her base. You planning a rescue? Yes, but it would be suicide. The outpost is heavily guarded, and I don't have enough troops. You do now. We need to get to Vera, whatever it takes. Then let's go. We haven't got much time. Anden, hermanos. Yeah. Let's do it. An extra four hands will definitely, um, in this case, 16 hands, would definitely be a huge advantage, huh? Let's go. That was a chopper. And let's get out of here before that damn radio. These radios are killing me. I'm in. Let's go. Ah, it's just here. I should have checked out how far it was first. We got a Sicario. Over by the sand back in place. Alright, copy. Let's get the drone up. The drone is up. Excuse me. I'm spotting another tango. A baby makes three. I got another. That's five. Looks like 
the five really. That it? It's five? Surely there's more. Well, fucking guy's got an eighty. What else we got in the tower? Yep. Sniper in the tower. There they are. Marking a captain. Copy. How many have we got so far? Ten under ten. That's ten targets. That'll be it. Alright, let's take him out one at a time. Here we go, ladies. Damn little barrel. I had a good position on him. I had a good take on him. Tango down. That was a risky shot. Didn't know whether he was going to move or not. If he moved, I would have exposed all of us. That bullet would have ricocheted. They would, they would, have, they would have done their little, little, little thing, and yeah, it would have been the end of it. What's that? Oh, I don't want to know what that is. Okay, so far so good. How we at? Put it to single shot by pressing Z on the keyboard. Alright, let's do a sync shot Turn with this marked. baby. Copy. Ah, he's heaps far away. We can have him. Nice work. Uh, so we're still clear, but we've got a little bit of shade of red here. Red is not really my color, if you know what I mean. What have we got in here? Nice. Okay, so we've got a bit of cover. So far, so good. Towers down. Yo, cartel gunman. The sandbag emplacement, see? He's history. We're cool, we're cool. We are cool. Yes. Can we tag those resources at all right now? You see that little green icon with the arrow down, is it? No, ooh. Ooh, that was close. What was that? Let's see if I can take this guy out without exposing myself. a kill. He's down. It's like even though that um, I'm, I'm at my desk at home, I still leaning over to look down the la down the um edge. Shut up before you give yourself away. Oh, would you be quiet? That's one thing I've never liked about rescue missions. When the um, hostages get all rallied up. Okay, I can't seem to climb from there, so that's okay. It looks like I'm gonna have to go in through here. Okay, we found the way in. Probably not the most conventional way in, or straightforward, definitely not textbook way in. Oh, 
hostile down. Alright. They've heard something. They've got wind. That guy here. Oh, there he is. That's the... Okay, so there. Coffee. Uh, I knew there was somebody else there. He's gone. Don't worry, snap us out. He's out of the question. Two left. Alright, people, let's move on to. We're working with Pak Katari. We need any info you got on the people who are disappearing. There is a rebel safe house near here. Everything I have on Los Desaparecidos is there. Then let's go get it. Alright, so it looks like we are going to a part two of the story, Rebel Safe House. Escort the journalist to the Rebel Safe House. Let's kick it. Where's my helicopter gone? Let's have a quick look at the map. Where did I leave the copter? I left it over there. Stay down, lady. Take it down. Hey, lady. Where's my copter gone? There's my chopper over there. Alright, so we have the journalist. What's her name again? Something Lupes. And we are on the way to escort her to a safe house. Quick lupus. To see what sort of other information she has for us. Everybody in the chopper, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody in the chopper, come on. We got Unidada Papa. Let's come on, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Our VIP is in, our VIP is in. Bad guys are reacting to the blast. It's not just San Mateo, you know. People are being taken from all over Bolivia, not just by the cartel. Unidad is also involved. Some officers torture and murder innocents, and then send the evidence here to be destroyed. Santa Blanca kills people all the time and leaves the bodies behind. No one cares if a sicario from a rival cartel dies. They kill a policeman? That's just the war on drugs. But the missing people? Oops, 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 oops. Every priest or journalist who said a bad word against the cartel, every student, bus driver, mm. laundry woman, anyone they think might be against them. That's not just the drug war. That's a story. Damn right it is. It has to be. If Bolivians knew a tenth of the murders that the cartel and Unidad have committed, there would be rioting in the streets. The it's rebels true. would have people flooding the ranks. Hell, the rest of the world might even care. The hideout is just ahead. Good. Show us that intel on the people disappearing in San Mateo. We need to put a stop to it. Alright, so here we are at the hideout. Come on, Miss Lupus. Get us out of here. And where is that radio? There it is. Where's that intel lady? It's not hard to guess that Los Desaparecidos, the disappeared, have all been murdered. I've got notes on some truck the cartel uses to pick up the bodies. It's supposed to have a regular route like a fucking garbage service. That's it? What about its route? 
It's scheduled. Nothing specific. Oh, amigo, this was hard enough to get as it is. I just know that the truck's last stop is a place where the cartel gets rid of the bodies. Hmm. Doesn't tell me much. Doesn't tell me much at all. What have we got here? What about my story? There are dozens of families, hundreds who need mm. answers to what happened to their loved ones. Yeah, right when we get that. answers, you'll be the one to spread the word. Adios and gracias. I'm going to wait here for Pacatari. You should find that truck. No, Matt. I've gone through those files you snagged in Rosario. There's nothing on the missing people in there. Is there anything on El Pozolero? We got a description of a truck that makes his regular deliveries, but nothing on the truck's route or its schedule. It's like this truck just roams the countryside and anybody putting back just vanishes. Well, it isn't supernatural. Mm. Here, the Rosario's files have info on the truck's route. I'm sending it to you now. Get your mitts on the driver and make him tell you his final destination. Copy. That's where all the remains will be. Got it. All right, so let's find the death truck. That's a new mission. So anywho, so in the previous mission, the journalist that was basically, yeah, didn't actually tell you much, did it? I mean, everything was. I mean, she was being rescued, collected, delivered, but she didn't have much intel at all. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Always appreciated, and I hope to catch you guys next mission. We'll check it out.